Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Blightfall. Now on today's episode, we're going to be taking a break from the Botania that we've been doing recently and going back to Thomcraft because I've got something very important that I want to do that's going to significantly increase my Thomcraft abilities. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically that's what's in store for today. Um, let's just get started. I've already done, I've done uh, at least an hour of prep work in order to make this happen, but we're going to make it happen, and it is going to be glorious. So, long story short, here's how we're going to do this. First, we're going to head over to Swamp Delta. Okay, now, uh, obviously, there are still large swaths of this swamp, which are, uh, still rather unpleasant to be in mostly everywhere um but that will not deter me uh you see because i really i'm not a, i'm not a scaredy cat or a chicken chicken face or anything like that um so let's go ahead and eat some foods here uh and basically we're just gonna do something like this uh i'm gonna come over here we're gonna kill some things on the way of course because uh, what good is doing something if you're not going to kill stuff in the process of accomplishing what you're doing? Okay, so yeah, we're just going to kill some uh, taint swarm things here. Piece of cake. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Okay, so yeah, I want to kill that too. Where is... Oh, there it is. That's what's doing this. Okay. So yeah, basically I'm over here for a very uh, unique variety of Aura node. And basically uh, this Aura node, um, in, in, uh, eventually, after a little bit of modification, a little bit of thomic uh, tinkering, so to speak, um, is going to have the capacity, all right, to power up my wands or various other magical devices with uh, all of the primal aspects, okay? And so that's what we're going for today. We want uh, we want some more powerful stuff here that'll help us in our uh, long-term goal of creating sustainable thomcraft and doing things that are um, interesting and will help you in your own mission, okay? So that's, that's why we're doing what we're doing today, just in case you find yourself asking the question, what in the heck are we actually doing? Okay, so I'm just going to clear out some of this space here, uh, because one thing that I'm going to need to do, uh, right after I kill all these freaking jerk spore swarmer things in the immediate vicinity, there we go, that's more like it, okay, so... Wow, look at that, 10 tainted goo. How, how good is that? Awesome. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, we're gonna want to jar up uh, an aura node here. So let's just get rid of some stuff here. Okay, now uh, we've done this before, so you've seen me do this, and I'm pretty sure you get the, the main idea of how it works, but just in case, you missed that episode somehow, or you're new to the channel, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I'm doing. So basically, um, I have a research that I completed in the Thaumonomicon called Node in a Jar. And the node in a jar works just like this. You basically put glass under the node, glass around the node, glass above the node, and then uh, slabs of wood above the node. Just like so. Okay, and after you've done all of this, you need uh, at least 70 of each uh, primal aspect in your wand, and you just right click, and there we go. So I've captured um, this uh, node. So as you can see, it's got 54 air and 36 messes, or messy, however you want to pronounce it, I suppose. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so we're off to a good start, but that is not quite sufficient for my purposes. While I'm over here, I'm going to want to pick up a, a little bit more 
for uh, a future endeavor, which we're going to explore on the next episode, okay? So there's that. And uh, this, no, that's not the node that I want. There's another node nearby, very nearby. I saw it earlier, I was exploring. There should be another node with Messis in it. Now, of course, this is a useful node. Um, I don't believe that I've examined it with my thumbometer before. No. It's tainted, however. I don't like that. Um, and oh, what about this one? Is this one tainted? Oh my gosh, it's tainted and pale. So that sucks. But it's not going to matter in the end. Uh, unfortunately, the pale, that kind of sucks um, for various reasons. But we'll get over that. Um, so, yeah. Why don't I just use this one to recharge some of my uh, Vs in my wand here while I'm here, after all. Um, and... Yeah, I guess we can just go back to Biodome Alpha now. So I'm going to head over to Biodome Alpha, and we're going to um, proceed with the next phase. Okay. Um, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully this should work out. Now, um, by the time I've completed what I'm doing here, uh, we should be able to basically just craft whatever we want on the arcane work table um, and not have to worry about taking out the scepter to recharge it or what have you. Um, it should just keep itself charged most of the time. Hello? Oh my gosh, Waddles. Waddles was stuck in the ground and I don't know what happened, but uh, Waddles appears very happy to have escaped. No! Waddles! No! Okay, whatever. That's okay. <laughs> I don't think Waddles is in any danger. I think Waddles is just um, enjoying a good session of um, um, land surfing, just like Chuck Norris. Um, so yeah, okay. Next thing. Next next thing coming up. <laughs> okay, so you might be wondering what the heck this is, and you'll find out in a minute. Um, but first, I need to make a thing. Okay, so I've got this node stabilizer here that I picked up from downstairs in my uh, basement node room. All right, and I want to put that in here. Okay, and I also need some a redstone comparator. Now, with uh, these things combined, I am able to create a node transducer. However, in order to use it properly, I am going to have to come down here, just like this, and, uh, whoops, down here, just like this, and uh, since I don't really want to make another node stabilizer right now, I'm just going to steal this one, considering it's not really doing anything useful right now. Anyways, okay, so let's just come right back up here, ta-da, and uh, at this point, I'm going to be able to do something cool with my node. Hey, that's a new moon tonight. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of that stuff in the middle here. And I want to put my node transducer up here and my node stabilizer down here. Okay, then I'm going to uh, put my node in a jar right there. Okay, and right-click it on right click on it with my wand. Now, um, as you can see, I've clearly invited some taint into my biodome here, and that's a bad idea. So I'm going to do this, and it takes almost no time at all to succeed at this, but it's basically going to turn this node into what's called an energized node. Okay, and uh, that should happen soon, I think. It's, it's supposed to happen, like, as soon as this drains to zero, from my understanding. Unless I've done something wrong, which I don't think I have. I researched this quite thoroughly. I've been researching this since yesterday. So that should work. Um, in the meantime, uh, I guess I have to fight some taint, I guess. Considering I've just invited it into my biodome, as you can plainly see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Good. Well then, let's just do this. Fight the taint. Okay. I don't think I accidentally 
tainted anything in here. Not too badly, anyways. Uh-huh. Now, as you can see, uh, this gives out five of each uh, primal Vs, um, and in fact, six of air. And what that is, is in centivies, which is actually hundreds of a Vs, one one hundredth of a Vs, and, uh, or five one hundredths of a Vs, technically. Um, but that is per game tick, so that happens 20 times per second. Okay, basically, this gives one Vs of each of these per second. Okay, um, and a fifth, one and a fifth for air. Okay, so that's one, that's one part of this done. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna need to do is create what's called a thingamajig. Um, no, that's just a joke. Um, I need this V's charging relay, uh, which in order to make this, I'll need a V's relay. So that's just iron and a balanced shard, and I've got a balanced shard sitting over here. I've got a few in my uh, p uh, golden bag of holding too, I think. Okay, um, gonna need a few more of those. Okay, perfect, so that should do the trick. So I'm just gonna grab one, two, three, four of these, put them in there, balanced shard. Okay, as you can see, made some V's relays. Now, V's relay is a neat thing. Um, if I take this V's relay and put it, say, I don't know, here, for example, um, you can see that these sort of hook up, which means that this is actually able to transmit that V's over to here. Okay, now I could put another V's relay a few spaces away and whatever and spread it out or send it out to different places, but I want that to be my first stop. Uh, okay and you'll see why you'll figure it out now as you can see I've clearly used up quite a lot of the um, V's that's in my gold banded great wood scepter um, but okay um, that won't be a problem you see so uh, I'm gonna need this great wood log and I'm gonna need a few more actually there we go four perfect so let us just real quick make a couple of great wood rods because I'm gonna need those because um, as you can see that is a necessary component component of the V's charging relay um, and let's get in here and put the V's relay and these and these right there I have insufficient V's I have insufficient V's okay let's put my great wood uh, or my Thaumy embossed silver wood wand in there for now. So, boom. Now I have a V's charging relay. Now this acts just like a regular V's relay, except it's designed to be placed on top of an arcane work table. Now as you can see, there is clearly something going on here. Okay? And that thing happens to be that my wand is filling back up. Okay? Um, slowly but surely. Uh, like I said, it's about one V's per second right now, um, with air being a little bit faster than the others. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's doing exactly what I expected it to do and is working very well. Now, clearly, um, one fatal flaw in, uh, this, one fatal flaw in this particular, um, methodology Okay, is that obviously I can't recharge my staff like this because the staff won't fit in the um, arcane work table. Now the arcane work table is the only thing that the V's charging relay will allow you to charge uh, wands in. So it should work for my scepter, as far as I understand it, um, but it definitely doesn't work for my um, silverwood staff. Okay, now as you can see, uh, in a matter of like a minute that was refilled entirely as you can also see this is refilling at the same rate so basically every time I come over here to use my arcane work table uh, it should always regain the V's that is expended in the process of making whatever item I might decide to make okay so yeah quite an effective tool for keeping my um, keeping my ability to craft 
um, Thomcraft related things. See now, if I if I had already had the V's charge relay, right, then oh, it's just red now. Most probably because yeah, it's down to just fire. Okay. Anyways, if I had already had the V's charging relay, then. Uh, whenever I went to craft the V's charging relay, I would have had enough V's in my uh, gold banded great wood scepter to make this happen. See, so as you can tell, you know, numerous benefits to doing this. Um, I got one more thing that I want to do, and that is I want to come over here and toss my scribing tools. No, I don't have enough man in there. Maybe toss my scribing tools in here. No, that doesn't work. Um, do they have to be full, perhaps? Okay. That's not quite what I expected. Uh-huh. Well, let's try this, then. Um, this is a thing that I read in the, um, um, I read this in the Botania Manual. So, it should be a thing, I think. Um, is it over here, perhaps? No, it's not. Um, no, no. No, it's not on. It's not on here, but it is in the uh, Botania Lexica. It basically says, "Hey, guess what? Um, your stuff works together like this." Um, let's see. A set of black scribing tools with mana from a mana, mana pool allows for them to use said mana as their source of color. Okay, so yeah, these scribing tools. Whoa, tome of knowledge sharing. Um, yeah, I should be able to make. A botanergist's inkwell, but I think um, perhaps what I'm doing wrong here is that I need a brand new set of scribing tools uh, that is completely full of ink. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna need ink to make this work, which I've got somewhere. I think. I think I have ink. Okay, I think I have ink. Um, but I'm really not sure, to be honest with you. Um. I'd like to find it quickly so that I can move on to the next thing, but yeah. Um, also, I've got dinner ready for me, and um, I'm thinking this might be a short episode, but I'm also thinking that um, now this is still tentative. You're going to have to tune in on Friday to see if this is the case, but I'm also thinking that I might uh, forego an episode of Doc's Castle this week in favor of an extra episode of Blightfall. And if I do that, Doc's Castle will be back next week. So there's a good chance that maybe you will uh, get more Botania or more more Blightfall this week. So, yeah. Um, if you guys would like that, then leave a comment down in the comments section indicating so. And uh, perhaps, perhaps we can come to an understanding. Um, floral black powder will work. Okay, so I'm gonna take a mystical black petal, which I've got a few extras of. Come over here, open this, put my thing, do the stuff, make the powder, put the thing, and now, ah, there we go. Fully recharged scribing tools, and throw those in. Throw those in. There we go. Now, as you can see, I've got a botanergist's inkwell, um, and that will work. Uh, that will work, basically using mana for um, ink. So instead of needing ink, I just use mana. Um, I actually think maybe why don't I make a second set of this um, as well? So that way, see. This is this is my logic behind this. If I make a second set of those, then I can use one for my table and one for my inventory, and uh, it it'll just make everything easier because I won't instead of refilling these, it'll be really easy to just you know carry this around um, in that form. There we go. Okay, so I like that. I like I like the way that works. Um, now there's another thing that I want to do, and that is eventually I want to uh, trade out my mana steel for elementium. Um, now I'm sure that sounds crazy to you guys, uh, but yeah, I've got pretty good reasoning for that. <sighs> but I suppose 
I don't know. I don't know how how long that took. I feel like that only took like 10 minutes to do this, which is surprising. Um, but maybe not so surprising considering I had everything planned this time. And I actually, you know, managed to do this in one good run. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. Do I have anything else? I, I know that there's something else I want to do. However, I think I'm going to hold off on that for another episode. Okay. Um, and let me just explain. So, oh, come on. Eat the food, Doc. Eat the food. Okay. So, I also want to obtain another node that I can use for wand charging and get a wand recharge pedestal. You know what? How about this? How about this? I want this. Um, this thing. Let's see, where's my paper? I've got paper. Right, there we go. Okay, so, how about this? Oh, scribing tools, right. Yes, there we go. Okay, so, what? Oh, 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 oh. That's empty. Uh-huh, right. That is sparing mana to items. So, shouldn't that work? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. There we go. How does that work? Um, I'm confused. So, yeah, if I put this in there, that should work, right? Okay, whatever. So, there we go. Boom. Made the research note. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Good. Very good. Good, good. It's good. Okay, so I want the ability to make this V storage amulet. Um, so we're just gonna do this. Uh, do I have my... Uh, there it is. Perfect. My Thomcraft Aspect Relationships Cheat Sheet, which is extraordinarily useful for this. And um, uh, maybe I'll... Uh, if, if anyone needs it, then I can provide for you a link. Um, just ask in the comments, and I shall provide. Um, so let's see here. I've got to go from Vacuos to Potentia. That's super easy because they both share Precantatio. Um, actually, all of these share Precantatio. So really what I want to do is, let's see, do I have more Potentia or more Vacuos? Oh, lame. Um, I'm pretty low on both, honestly. So why don't I do this Precantatio to Vacuos, and then that to Precantatio to Vacuos, this to, whoa, 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 this to Precantatio to Vacuos. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now, um, all I've got to do is, let's see, do I have lots of air? I do. So I'm going to put air here, and air here, and air there. Uh, and that connects all of these into one spot right here. Now with just air here, and another vacuos, ta-da! I have solved the thing! Congratulations, me! Okay, so... Now I've discovered how to make the thing. Get out of my way, paper, you silly printout. Okay, so and that's the thing that I've discovered. Um, I'm now I'm now able to make the amulet of V's storage. Okay, now here's the thing: um, the amulet of V's storage uh, should be able. Let's see, it should be able to absorb. Uh, some of the V's. Let's see, the amulet can only be recharged in a wand pedestal or from nearby re V's relays. So if I wear the amulet, okay, and I stand here or so, uh, I should be able, or like, I guess, maybe in here. I'm not really sure. I think it's like four block radius um, around the V's relay. So if I wanted to, I could also place, I, I don't know, I guess this V's charge relay acts as a V's relay too. Um, although, 
Really what I could do is get in my golden bag of holding, grab out a balanced shard, and make some more V's relays so that I can actually um, um, do this properly. Uh, so I can basically, um, if I do this the right way, then it should be possible to use that to recharge my wand from pretty much anywhere in my uh, biodome here, I think. Um, now, here's the thing. Uh, basically, this is a way that I'll be able to recharge my Silverwood staff um, more conveniently, all right, than recharging, uh, than, than you can usually recharge a staff. Because I don't want to have to run around the whole darned world anymore to recharge every time I want to do a video that includes Thomcraft, you understand? <laughs> There's a good reason it took me so long to prep for this video, and that's because I had to go wandering about, finding different uh, aura nodes, and restoring the magic from my wands so that I could actually, you know, um, jar up this aura node in the first place. Now, as you can see, the energized aura node does not state anywhere on it that it is, um, you know, tainted or anything. And in fact, the taint uh, does not affect the energized aura node. It's still tainted. You can tell from the purple in there. Okay. But it does not actually affect the surrounding area whenever you just have like a regular old um uh like whenever you have a energized aura node like this it does it doesn't you it's it's still tainted but uh the taint is basically not spreading from it even though it still has the tainted you know aspect of things okay now i'm not sure if you understand what i mean if you don't you can ask in the comments and i will elaborate in um much better words so yeah see see that isn't that cool like that's that's friggin neat right okay so um i want to place let's see i want to place another v's relay about here and then from there i want to place another one um right here. There we go. Oh, that's too far. That hasn't worked. Okay. Oh well. That's a little that's a little bit too far, I guess. Um goodbye. Uh so how about more like you know, uh, I think it's like eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh you piece of doggy doo doo. Um Okay, there we go. I think that'll I think that one'll work. Yes. Okay. Now here's the thing. Each V's relay can go out to multiple sources, but can only accept V's from one source. Okay, so I can't combine a bunch of different energized R nodes into one V's relay. Um, however I can use different energized R nodes for different V's relays if I should choose to do so. Okay. Now I think didn't I find um, somewhere in my travels, one of these V's storage amulets. Although I'm not sure about that. Um, but I think I, I think I did. Does anyone remember that? Anyone feel like I did do that? Cause I feel like I did, but I also <sighs> could be wrong. <laughs> Either way, I don't have all the materials for this, um, handy. These primal charms are not the easiest thing to make, um, and I'm out of balanced shards to make them with. The mixed crystal clusters aren't that bad. Mundane amulet, I've got a few of those somewhere. Where are those, anyways? Uh-huh, scribing tools, scribing tools, V's stone. Wait, V's stone, what is that? Slowly recharges held wands. Hey, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing I was just trying to look for. Huh. Oh, uh, but I have to take off my feline amulet in order to wear it. Okay, as you can see, that is recharging off of the nearby V's relay. Okay? It's sort of skimming some off the top of the V's relay, so to speak. 
And as you can see, the color of this beam changes to this v V's relay because there is currently stuff flowing through the V's relay to where I am. Okay, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff right there. Um, I wonder if there's a... I wonder if there's a cool, interesting way to actually, like, hold this stuff. Okay, so what's the farthest away I can get from this thing and still recharge? Okay, so if I'm in this general vicinity, it works. If I'm over here, it works. Um, it doesn't work. I don't think it works being right here. Pretty sure that doesn't do anything. That's right. Okay, but if I'm over here, obviously it you know, recharges slowly. And it will also, it's all, it can also be used to slowly recharge things. So if, if you'll look, you'll see that now it's kind of like neutralized and you'll see that what's happening is it's charging my staff because I'm holding the staff in my hand. Um, I believe that this will continue to work if I've got like a chest open or something. Yes, it will. Okay. Uh, and I can also just like let it, you know, I can also let the amulet fill up until it's full, uh, which has, you know, pretty much the same capacity as my staff when it's full. Um, so I can also uh, basically carry around a second staff full worth of mana, or Vs, I mean, without having to sacrifice much of anything. Now, of course, in order to actually use it, um, I have to take off my feline amulet, which I really like the feline amulet because it keeps me totally safe from creepers 100% all of the time, um, which is just, like, amazing. Um, but yeah, so there's some fun Thaumcraft things that we did today. Uh, I'm going to eat some chicken wings and allow my, uh, allow my V's stone here to charge all the way. Um, while I also, uh, charge up my Silverwood staff. Um, and, uh, so basically I'm just gonna leave my character sitting here. Hopefully I don't die of starvation or something strange like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I really appreciate you watching today's episode of Let's Play Blightfall. Um, I'm glad I filled that in with some extra time there. That really was, that, that was really cool. Um, Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Let's Play Blightfall. Um, hopefully uh, you've learned something interesting or you've gotten some cool ideas uh, from uh, today's new Thaumcraft-like adventure. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time, whether it be this Friday or next Wednesday. Um, and I'm sure that you will be tuning in for the next episode whenever it may be, okay? So, yeah. Take it easy, guys.